What up, peoples? Today we are going to dive into some popular selling blank t shirts. This video will hopefully help some of you clothing brands just starting out and some of you custom shirt designers working from the comfort of your own homes. We are going to tackle the question which shirt brand and model should I offer my clients and customers? But after the intro, let's go. So I'm your boy D the Delinquent. Ow. And we're gonna work with three shirts today. I tried selecting three of the most recently advertised blanks in the market in hopes some of you might see this video and find it useful before you place your orders. Me and my nephew have a clothing brand called Bread and Butter Apparel. And we also offer printing for other brands. So naturally, when it's time to shop for blanks and order up more shirts, companies got their algorithms and all that set to try to sell, sell, sell us on whatever it is that they're trying to push for that day, week, month, etc., etc. It could be stressful, overwhelming, and damn right annoying. Especially if you're just starting out and don't know what brand and model to select for your brand and for your customers. The three brands and models that we have here today is one, the Gildan Dry Blend, AKA the Gildan 8000. These are unisex adult tees and they're 100% cotton and pre-shrunk. Number two, the Toltex 202. This is a unisex adult tee, 100% cotton, and the manufacturer also says these are pre-shrunk. And last, but definitely not least, we got three. The All Style 1301. They don't model this as a unisex adult tee, but nobody seems to care about this classic fit. They're 100% cotton and pre-shrunk. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we got to move to the bread and butter apparel shop. The garage. What up y'all? Welcome to the Bread and Butter Apparel Streetwear Shop! Please forgive me for looking shiny and sweaty and all that. It's hot in this mofo. But it's all good, because we work hard, baby. Anyway, I wanted to move into the shop for a couple reasons. One, there's more space for me to move around. And two, the lighting is just better. To my far left, we got the Gildan Dry Blend. This is the Gildan 8000 model. It's 50% polyester, 50% cotton, pre-shrunk. At least that's what they say. That's what they all say. I don't know, hopefully they tell them the truth with that. And in the middle, we got the Toltex 202. This shirt is 100% cotton, made in Mexico. Or like my nephew Gio does. And to my right, we got the All Style 1301 Classic. This shirt is 100% cotton, and they're both pre-shrunk according to the manufacturers. But now we're going to touch these t-shirts and I'm going to explain to y'all what I feel and how it makes me feel, baby. First up, we got the Gildan 8000, the dry blend. It feels light, lightweight, it is a bit more see-through compared to these two other t-shirts going on right here. I do like the Gildan 8000. If you're taking on personal one-on-one -on -one orders for clients in the comfort of your own home, the Gildan 8000, in my opinion, is the perfect t-shirt to order for your clients. Me personally, this is what I was getting my clients before we created bread and butter apparel. Never had any complaints. I used to also offer the Gildan 8000 model to big time orders for school events, football events, fundraising events, etc, etc. Never had an issue. Now for all you streetwear guys out there and girls out there that are having trouble deciding which Model T you should just get a whole bunch of so you can start pushing out your brand, I personally believe this is the perfect Model T-shirt for you to start out with. If money is playing a valuable role in your whole startup, then when you start getting bigger money, then yeah, you're gonna wanna move up to better quality t-shirts. But again, I personally feel the Gildan 8000 model is the perfect tee to get started with. I am actually wearing a Gildan 8000 right now. It's a little bit oversized, it's a 2X, but it's a hot day and I just felt like wearing it. I love the way the Gildan 8000s fit around the neck. The collar is a little bit shorter compared to the other uh, model that I'm gonna show in a bit. The stitching has always been good. Now in our experience, whenever we order a ton of Gildan 8000 models, we do tend to see about half of those t-shirts come in with 
threads poking out around the inside collar and definitely on the inside armpit area. That tends to be the number one place we see flaws in the Gildan 8000. Oh, here we go right here. Just like that, what do you know? We do see this a lot in the Gildan 8000 model. Honestly, you see that a lot in many t-shirts, but with the Gildan 8000 model, in my opinion, it's a little bit more pronounced. So the way to fix that is you just take some nice thin scissors, whatever, cut close to the uh cut close to the fabric bam take a lighter burn it real quick done but you're trying to put out good quality t-shirts you don't want to be doing that for the uh duration of your clothing brand run right so that's the only thing i see wrong with the gildan 8000 but all around i give this an 8 out of 10 score it's not a bad t-shirt now with the shading of the reds I like the red shading that Gildan 8000 has, but the problem to me is it's more on the lighter side. And after a couple washes, it's only going to get even more lighter. It's not going to be more of a true red, in my opinion. In fact, after about five to six washes with a normal load, no bleach, it tends to look more on the peachy side. Just my opinion. But also, you got to remember that vintage look is in right now. People are dying for that. So it actually might work out to your favor. But don't be a scumbag. If that's not what you're going for, then stay away from this for that reason, okay? Next up, we got the Toltex 202. This shirt is 100% cotton. The way it feels in my hand, well, it's a little bit heavier than the 50-50 blend, but the cool crazy thing is it's thinner. Bread and butter apparel, me and my nephew are based out of Tucson, Arizona. A lot of our customers want a thinner t-shirt, but that is not see-through. Cause we're just trying to stay cool down here in these hot 120 degree days, you feel me? The cool thing is it's not as see-through as it is to the 50-50 uh, blend because there's no polyester in this thing. When polyester start getting involved with cotton, you'll tend to notice a lot more uh, transparency in the fabric. By the way, all these neck labels are tear-offs, in case you're wondering. That's important for you street brands out there. I'll go ahead and demonstrate the tear-off later in this video. I do like the red on the Toltex 202. The shading is awesome. Their shading on all their colors are awesome. But the only problem that I have with this red is it sits more towards the cardinal red side. And after a few washes, it does get a little bit lighter and becomes a little bit nicer, pleasant red. But with the Toltex 202, it can get patchy after some washes. What I mean by that is after five, six washes, if you hold it up to the sunlight, you'll notice lighter and darker spots around the t-shirt. So for all your clothing brands out there, just keep that in mind. If you're doing custom t-shirts, one-on-one -on -one orders and all that stuff, no minimum requirements, because they're using vinyl cutters, cricket machines, or a small uh, screen printing machine at your house. The Totex 202 is a good option for you to offer your customers. One thing that we've noticed with the Totex 202 is when you buy them in bulk, you don't get a consistent stitching around the collar. And these are grade A quality shirts. These are not B graded or anything like that. These are grade A, ready for resale. They're made to show up at your door, you rip off the neck label, you print what you're printing on them, sell it, ship it, gone. Some people might hate this. I actually hate this. Come on, man. How are you going to have a stitch right here? Not even in the middle, not on the sides, but right there. That's just awful in my opinion. But again, if you're doing t-shirts from the house with a vinyl cutter, cricket machine, silhouette, rolling, whatever, and you got no minimum requirements, the Totex 202 is a good option. And sometimes they're on sale for only two bucks each. I did notice that on the collar, the front of the neck right here on the chest part sits a little bit lower. The width compared to the Gildan 8000 is about the same, okay? But the only difference is this front piece sits lower than it does on the Gildan 8000. Some people might care, some people don't care. We do find that a lot of our customers do like a lot more movement around their neck area. So this would be more favorable compared to the Gildan 8000. But at Bread and Butter Apparel, we don't do the Toltex 202. We have experienced with it, making some exclusives, customs, sending out gift boxes and stuff. 
with the Toltex 202 brand, no complaints. But when you're running a clothing brand, you tend to pay attention to details. At least you better. And things like that is no bueno. And keep in mind the shade of red that might bother a lot of you streetwear brands out there. Next up, we got the All Style Classic, the 1301. Feels a bit more heavier. It's 100% cotton. Made in Nicaragua. Not as quite as see-through as the 50-50 blend, but it does have some transparency to it. It's nice and smooth. Compared to the other two, it feels good quality. The stitching is on point. In our experience, whenever we order bulk of the All Style 1301, classic, we've never had any issues or complaints at all. No crazy one-off stitchings or anything. Sometimes on the inner armpit area, we do see some loose threading going on, but look at Fresh out the box, no issue. But honestly, a lot of shirts are gonna do that. And with the 1301 Classic, we tend to see it a lot less. One thing we do like about the 1301 Classic is the length or the height of the collar stitched area, that folded area. It's nice, thick, and heavy while still being loose and free around the neck area. I don't know about y'all, but I hate feeling like my shirts are choking me. And we don't want our customers feeling like that. Oh yeah, the Toltex 202, out of a one to 10 score, 10 being the best, I give it a seven. Now with the All Style 1301 Classic, I give it a 9.7 out of 10. This thing's almost perfect. If you're doing custom orders at the crib with the Cricut machine or other vinyl cutter or a small screen printing press machine, the Classic 1301 is definitely a good choice for you to offer your customers, but they are a little bit more expensive and the availability in all sizes is a little bit more difficult because everybody loves them. The demand is high and sometimes it is a pain in the to get the size and color that you need. So if you're just doing small custom orders at the house, you might not want to deal with all that stress and hassle by trying to stick with the classic 1301 by uh, All Style. But if you're a clothing brand, that hassle and struggle of getting the sizes and colors that you want in the in the 1301 Classic All Style is worth it. Now, as far as the red, I love the red. We love the red. It's more of a true red. Red, red, red. And with our experience after six or seven washes, it does get a little bit lighter with a full load, no bleach, but it still feels like a good quality t-shirt. So all you clothing brands out there, we strongly recommend the classic 1301 by All Style. All right, man, we got to move back to the studio. I'm burning up in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to wrap this video up, I gave a quick look at the Toltex 202, the Gildan 8000 Dry Blend, and the All Style 1301 Classic. By the way, I chose red shirts for detail. You really get a good idea about quality checking out a company's reds and black shirts. Just my opinion. Out of the three, the All Style 1301 Classic is the best option. Just my opinion. It has less chances of having flaws with the stitching. It feels good. Nice weight. Nice fit. It's thin and smooth with less transparency. And it's just a few more dollars. But it'll pay for itself. Trust me. The only cons about the All Style 1301 Classic is the size availability. Everybody wants some. So sometimes... The sizes that you want are just hard to get. But the fight for these bad boys is worth it. The All Style 1301 Classic is great for screen printing, embroidery, and sublimation with the appropriate inks. And also good with vinyl. In second place is the Gildan 8000 Dry Blend. It's a good shirt, it really is. But it does tend to have more flaws when you order these bad boys in bulk. They're thin and a tad bit more transparent just because you're dealing with a mixture of cotton and polyester. Some people love this, but most people dislike this characteristic. The Gildan 8000 has a great price point. They always do. I strongly recommend the Gildan 8000 Dry Blend for all you new streetwear brands that's just starting out and you're trying hard to save that money. These are good for free gift bags, stash bags, and to hand out at events or to sell for your first couple drops. This is a great shirt to offer customers for the at-home, small unit, moving DIY entrepreneur. These are they're also great for screen printing, light embroidery, vinyl, 
and sometimes sublimation. But I just wouldn't recommend this. Because it's hard to decide which ink you're going to use. Either the sublegit polyester inks or the chroma blast cotton inks. And you're dealing with a mix. So that's just on you, baby. They're always available. Gildan is just amazing at this. And last but definitely not least, the Toltex 202 did come in last out of the three just in my opinion but it's still a great shirt for the small unit small business diy entrepreneur but just to be honest i don't recommend this to be used for any streetwear brand their colors tend to be darker than the true colors for example this red it was just closer to a cardinal slash blood red but hey the prices are great there's a lot of availability they're great for screen printing and vinyl and light light embroidery but you get what you pay for all three of these models have tearaway labels here's how i recommend doing this firmly grab the shirt place your thumb in this area then rip off the tag now a lot of times a piece of the tag will get left behind like this right here but all you got to do is this fold back that collar and grab an end and gently pull it out and voila no damage no damages but if you do damage the shirt it doesn't mean it's a, a, a lost cause you could just Grab a pair of scissors, cut off that area, and then burn those two ends with a lighter. Done. A successful label tearaway job is gonna look like this. You should have two pieces. Now to demonstrate how the Toltex 202 label rips off. Same process. We're gonna grab the shirt firmly. We're gonna place a thumb right above that label area and then quickly rip off the tag. Nice! Now, if there's ever a piece left behind that's just too small for your fingers to pinch, all you gotta do is grab a pair of needle nose tweezers and pull that sucker out. But the more practice and more times you do this, you're gonna become a pro at this. Look at that. No damages. None. This is a clean rip, baby. I'm on fire. And now the All Style 1301 Classic. I love tearing these labels off. They just feel a lot stronger, firmer. I, I can't explain it. Once you put your hands on these, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the piece that always gets left behind on the All Style 1301s, these do tend to be a little too small for me to pinch. I'll admit that. But like I said, these are worth all the time and effort that you gotta put into these bad boys to move to your peoples. So grab a pair of needle nose tweezers like this here and just, just watch the video. Voila, like magic. No damages, none whatsoever, not one. I love you, All Style 1301. This is why we give you a 10 out of 10. Well, actually, it was like a 9.5. But still, y'all get what I mean. Anyway, before we close this out, I just want to add this. I am an Amazon affiliate. I will provide some links below so y'all can order up these shirts yourself and truly test it yourself and, and get a feel for it yourself because at the end of the day, this is all about you and what you like and what you feel confident with. Good luck, y'all. Happy selling. I'm your boy, D the Delinquent. Oh, Much love, y'all. Peace.